Hey everyone, my name is Renee. And I'm Nath. And today we will be hitting a quick progressive weight training workout. The goal is to focus on lifting heavier to help build muscle to combat estrogen loss and to help burn fat. Lifting heavier can help to improve blood glucose and improve lean mass. This can also help with visceral fat during this stage of life. This workout today will prioritize strength and lower body. Grab onto your light ankle weights, heavy weights, and of course, a moderate weight option. We always want you to be able to scale up or down according to what you need today. And this workout will also be formatted as a repeating block to ensure progressions and exhaustion of our muscles. And of course, if you need to modify, you can look to me. Ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Walk to the back of your mat. Let's just get started feeling grounded into the floor. Your knees can bend, making sure that they're not locking. Just breathe. Let's roll our shoulders up and down our back, keeping that going. I just want you to notice anything that may feel tight, really releasing it. You can take this at your own tempo. We're gonna go for a couple more, really sweeping the shoulders up towards your ears. Maybe the elbows can start to lift. All right, on this last one, you're gonna pick your arms all the way up. Let's go into a forward fold. So really reaching the crown of your head forward, soft bend of those knees. You're gonna walk your hands out into a plank. Hold it, feel everything squeeze, and then you're gonna walk it back. So my legs are definitely going straight. Maeve has a small bend of her knees, rolling it up, arms up. Forward fold. Try to relax your toes, really feeling grounded, coming forward, squeeze and walking it back. I'm just gonna keep rolling up through the spine. We're not going for speed today, we're really going for strength. So I want you to make sure that you're releasing any tension in your toes and any tension in your fingertips for now because we will be using grip strength a little bit later, very soon. Up and down. Really letting the chest lead there, walking it forward. Feeling that plank hold and then walking it back. All right, we have one more. Enjoy this roll up, arms up. Take that forward fold and walking it out. Let's just hold this plank really quick, feeling your chest between your thumbs, feeling your abs scoop up, squeeze your glutes. If you can, you can stretch your legs, but if you need to modify, definitely bend. Hold four counts. Three, two, and one. Start to walk that back. And again, rolling up through your spine. Meet us at the very top, shoulders up, and then down your back. Here we go, grab onto your light ankle weights. Let's put those girls on right away. So again, we're going for strength today. So definitely no speed. I am going to get started with a heavier weight option. You're gonna grab onto two dumbbells and we're gonna get this started. Again, Maeve is always gonna give you your modifications. I'm taking 12s, Maeve is gonna take some 10s and we're gonna go for it. So start with your feet a little bit wider than your hips. If you do need to turn out your toes, you definitely can. We're gonna bring our weights to our shoulders. If you're with me, weight stay down by your side if you're with Maeve. Bring your butt down into this squat and then picking it up. Taking it down. So now I want you to think your weight is back in your heels. So now think more of a deadlift versus letting your knees go too far forward and picking it up. So exerting this energy at the top, nice and slow down and nice and slow up. Keep that going, down. If you're with me, notice your arms are in a contraction, those biceps are squeezing. If you're with Maeve, be very aware of your chest, opening it up, letting the collarbones lengthen from side to side. Keep picking that up, squeeze the butt. Okay, continuing that, I'm just gonna come over here and check in with Maeve. I can literally see her lats are coming in tighter together. Her lower traps are connecting as soon as she comes up to the top. All right, here we go. And squeeze. Let's go for two more, y'all. Taking it down and picking it up. Whew. Feeling a little bit heavier. Last one, we're gonna go ahead and hold the weights here. Again, if you're with Maeve, you can totally keep the weights down by your side. Step one foot back, 
This is going to be a lunge. You're gonna take that same foot back, cross it over into a curtsy. Here we go, step it back, lunge, and then cross it over. Notice that front knee, making sure that the front knee is not going too far past that ankle. We wanna keep the knee tracking over the ankle for stability, just to also be safe, right, for our patella and our joints. Notice if your heart is getting a little bit higher in that tempo and that rate, breathe it out. Remembering that we're really pumping our heart and also loading into that front heel to help combat any changes that are happening in our body with muscle mass and also because of that lowering of estrogen and testosterone in our bodies. Last one, y'all. Whoo, feeling that. Go ahead and shake that out. I'm gonna go ahead and take a lighter version of the weight. You can keep heavier if you need. We're gonna bring these arms overhead. So start by rolling your shoulders up and down your back. Pick up those arms. You're gonna lift all the way up. Check in on those shoulders and then pull down. So push and pulling down. If this is ever too much, you can always scale down again. Or I just want you to notice if your abs are pushing out. Is your back arching? Are we overextending the body, right? Pulling it in, but also keeping a neutral spine. It's a lot to think about, right? Everything should feel like someone has their hand in the front and the back of you. Yes, so definitely feel her abs transform right there. All right, we're almost there. Five more. You have four. Keep this going, push into the floor with your feet. Three more. Last two, really feeling that weight. Push down into the floor. Last one. All right, everyone go ahead, gently drop those weights all the way down. We're gonna take a quick reset of our shoulders. You're gonna open up this left arm to the side, right arm's gonna come to the front. Split curl. Before we even get started, making sure that your shoulder points are facing forward. You're gonna lift both arms up, squeeze at the top, and then nice and slow on the way down. Whew. Take that up and squeeze. So because of mobility of the shoulder, you may be able to go all the way down or you may have to stop at a 90 degree angle. It's all good, whatever you need, but I just want you to combat turning your hips or turning your shoulder points away from wherever your front is. Keep that going up and down. Where's that moment of hold? Squeeze at the top and then lowering all the way down, yes. So because we're having both sides work in opposite directions, sometimes the shoulders wanna open, but notice both of Maeve's shoulder points are going forward, and this is also gonna help strengthen up her back, right? She has to hold her abs in really, really tight. Three more, and lower, two more. A little surprise moment for us right here. We're gonna finish this last one. You're gonna lower both arms down to a 90 degree angle. Only this left arm picks up and lowers down. Woo, picks up. So not only is the left arm finding some heat, but this right arm in an isometric hold is really getting more strength. Three more. Yikes, two more. Lift up, squeeze and lower down. Last one. And lower down, shake that out. Can we give ourselves a roll, I know, of those shoulders up and down the back. We're gonna swap out for our heavier versions that we took earlier. And taking it to your shoulders if you're with me, and of course, taking your hands down by your side if you're with Maeve. You're gonna go ahead, step the opposite leg back. We're back into that lunge. You're gonna cross, taking that curtsy. Check out that front knee. Don't be shy about looking down. Take it back and push into that front heel to cross. Now, if you're with me, you still have that squeeze into the biceps. I want you to really think about what's happening to that front heel, right? You're pushing down into the floor. We're definitely getting that lower body to heat up. Whew. Keep that push. Really thinking about staying low. If I had a rope over your shoulders, you would stay underneath that rope, right? So I really want you to imagine that image of having an apple on your head and not letting that apple drop. This is such a great job, right? <laughs> Testing out that balance is so good for our bone density strength. Two more, y'all, and cross. Last one, 
Go ahead and come on out of that. Drop these heavy weights. We're back to that moderate version, meaning about 10 pounds for me, about eight pounds for Maeve. We're gonna go ahead, pick up those arms, taking your arms into a 90 degree angle. We're gonna close and open. Whew. Close and open. So I don't want you to think about rounding the back when you close. Really make sure that your collarbones are stretching across the chest. Closing and opening. Feel that belly button press back into the spine. Yes. Are these feeling heavier, Maeve? Okay, good. We're halfway there. Whew. Keep it going. Squeeze that belly button back. You have four more. Really notice that her angle doesn't change. It's like she's gliding right across the table, squeezing it in. Look at that grip strength. You can see her biceps are still active. Last one, Maeve. Out and in. Now hold it out for me, hold it out. Just six little pulls. Down, up. Feel those lats. Whew. They should be feeling heavier. Let's really push to our threshold of potential, y'all. Two more. Last one, go ahead and shake that out. Roll your shoulders up and down your back. Open up your right arm. That left arm's gonna come in front. We're gonna split curl. So all the way up, squeeze to the top. Lower all the way down. Squeeze up and lowering down. So there are these moments of control that definitely help to exhaust us, not only us and our cardiovascular, but also just our muscles, right? That point of fatigue can really stimulate the body and for the body to respond in regards to bone growth and bone density. Keep that going. Take it up and lower down. I want you to really remember your shoulders should be facing the front. When you get tired, your shoulders are going to want to turn out. Ah, squeeze it up. Are we still breathing, Maeve? Yeah? <laughs> okay, here we go. Four more. Three more. Take your time. Remember, not about speed. This is about endurance on the muscles. Two more. All right, y'all, last one. We're gonna hold it at the top. Hold it at the top, drop that front arm, find 90 there, just that side arm, down and up. I want you to almost feel like this front arm being held, it's like you're just holding a tray of food, right? So everything that we do in here is really to transfer into that everyday life. You have two more. And last one. Whoo, all right, these arms should be on. Fire, let's go ahead and drop these weights down. Grab onto a mat. You're gonna meet me down on the floor. We're gonna involve our abs with these workouts as well. So I'm gonna grab onto a moderate version for me, which are gonna be 10 pound weights. You're gonna lay down on your back, plant your feet down, and then I want you to flip your palms out. Now your elbows should not be on a 90 degree angle. I do want you to feel like your elbows are pulling down towards your heels. You're gonna lift the arms up, chest overhead, and then pull it down nice and slow, 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 slow. This is the same feeling you should get if you were to be closing a window, right? So pulling down, really feeling that resistance. Pick it up and lower down. Now, if you're with me, you're gonna stay. If you're with Maeve, excuse me, you're gonna stay there. If you're with me, you're gonna go ahead, lift your hips up into that bridge, and let's just test out what we already know to be true from standing, right? Is your are your glutes squeezing up, making sure that your back is not arching. We should be feeling that butt burn right here. Squeeze it up. Control it down. Whew. I hear Maeve breathing. That's a really good point, right? Exertion out. We're almost there, Maeve. We have three more right here. Push. Let the elbows drive down towards the heels. All right, everyone, two more right here, nice and controlled. Shoot it out and drive it down, elbows towards those heels, feel the back engage. Last one. And lowering all the way down. Go ahead, gently come all the way down. Drop one of your weights. You're gonna grab onto the heads of one dumbbell. Pick up your legs tabletop, feel your lower back, stay connected down to the floor. We're just gonna tap our toes down and down. Now, as we're doing these little toe taps, you can stay just like this, or we're gonna go ahead and pick up the chest, keeping that hollowed feeling. Here we go, we're almost there. Four, you have three, 
You have two and on one. Go ahead and gently lower down. Everyone come on up. Let's finish out a big blast of our arms by using our triceps. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the palms forward. You're gonna bring your chest forward as you come to the tops of your thighs, picking up those feet, lengthening through the abs, squeeze the elbows in tightly, drop it down and pick it up. So triceps, engaging and pushing down. I want you to make sure the back of your neck is nice and long, really exhausting the upper body and combating any sense of body composition that we may feel, right? Meaning muscle mass is changing, bones are changing. And then just looking at Maeve, notice that it's all about her back right here, right? And elbows are really, really tight to her body as she lowers and as she picks it up. Yes. All right, we got four more, y'all. If you're with me, stay with me. If you're with Maeve, maybe you do come over to my side. Take it down and push it up. Last three. All right, y'all, last two. Taking it down, shooting it up. Last one. And... Come all the way back up. Go ahead and remove your mats. We're gonna grab onto our heavier version one more time, taking less reps, but definitely grabbing on a little bit heavier this round for sure. We're gonna start with our hands up next to our shoulders. Maeve's gonna keep her hands down, going into these deadlifts, pulling it back, explode it up. Really feeling that squeeze at the very top. Go as deep and as low as you can without compromising the lower back. Right? You may not look just like Maeve or myself, but definitely feeling that sit back position. Try to relax your toes. And if you're with me with these weights up next to your sides or next to your shoulders, squeezing the biceps a little bit deeper. All right, we're almost there. And push. Last three, y'all. Taking it down and picking it up. Keep that squeeze. Last one, taking it down and finish out strong. All right, y'all, go ahead and take a quick reset. Roll your shoulders up and down your back. We're gonna take our hands back to our shoulders, starting with one foot back into that lunge. You're gonna cross it back over. Looking at that knee, take it back and cross. So remembering again that it is about the push into that front foot. I do want you to notice that Maeve is pressing down into the floor. There's a lot of resistance that's happening. So we're also gonna be able to protect our bones in this aspect by rolling through the toes, the ball of the foot and pushing down. Notice that her back is still opening and squeezing in tight so that her chest can stay lengthened. Yes, 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 Maeve, here we go. Two more. Taking it back and crossing it over. Last one. All right, y'all, right away, we're gonna go to the second side. Come on up, give yourself a quick reset. Second side, leg back and cross it over. <sighs> Keeping that going, I want you to stay low, like someone has a rope over your shoulder. <sighs> Press down, really feeling that front leg start to kick in. We're almost there. Whew. At this halfway point, squeezing those biceps if you're with me. Four more. Keeping this breath. You have three. Keeping your abs engaged, y'all. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it out. Two more. Ooh, front leg. I know, <laughs> last one. Finish that out nice and strong. Dropping these heavier weights. We're gonna grab onto our mat, final round. Pull that mat all the way out. Grab onto your moderate weights. We're going exactly back to what we already know, this chest press. Elbows are gonna be on a diagonal line, laying down, push down into your feet, pull those elbows tightly into your back. So I do want you to feel your back engaged. Shoot those arms up and slowly drop them. Now, right out the gate, I want you to lift your butt up. Squeeze the glutes and lowering down. Take your time, take your time. <sighs> Pulling it down. When your elbows come down, can we make sure that our hips don't change, right? I want you to squeeze to your top, really push through those feet just as much as you're pushing into the chest. 
Keep that squeeze. Maybe you join me. I don't know. You have three more right here. And lowering down. Two more. And lowering down. We're almost there, y'all. Last one. Go ahead and lower the arms first. Then lower down the hips. Drop one of your weights. We're going to grab onto the heads of the weights right here, picking it up right above our chest. Legs come tabletop. Just start to tap those toes. So again, last little bit right here. If you can stay with Maeve or stay with me, you definitely can. Or pick up the body. We're going for 10 more. 10. You have nine. We're almost there. Breathe. You have three more. You have two, and on one, go ahead and let that go. How you feeling, Maeve? Feels good. Let's go ahead and take off these light ankle weights, everyone. Slow can be so much harder. Slower is so much harder. All right, as you're taking off these light ankle weights, you're gonna go ahead and just hug your knees into your chest. Let your ankles start to circle out. We're gonna take a figure four stretch. So drop one leg, cross the other one over, letting your hips open. You can even pull that bottom leg in. Top knee, don't force it, just let it be. Let gravity do its thing. Let's open up the back from those deadlifts. So one arm is out, let's release the legs to that back wall. Make sure you're still breathing. And then we're gonna swap sides. Figure four stretch. If you ever need to stay in something a little while longer, you can definitely do so. You can also tag on one of our recovery series, series workouts to the end of this workout if you do need a deeper and longer stretch. Let's go ahead and let those legs fall to the side as we open up the arm and the back. All right, y'all, you're gonna go ahead and rock yourselves on up when you're ready. Come up to a seated position, taking your hands up and just pressing your hands into your chest. Just a moment of gratitude for how the body showed up. One more time, taking your arms up. Bringing it down, just a moment of gratitude for your bodies. You can finish with your eyes closed. Thanking you, thanking your body. Thank you, Maeve, for joining me today. And we'll see you on the next one.